This problem is related to rate and rate constant. Let us try this problem. So we have a first order reaction, let us say reactant to product, for first order reaction we can write rate is equals to K times concentration of reactant. and in this case reactant is A so K times concentration of A now B have been given rate at two different time when T is 10 minute rate is given 0 0.04 mole per liter per second when time is 20 minute a rate is 0 0.03 mole per liter per second if you remember in first order reaction concentration at any time T is given by this formula where A T is concentration at time T. And A naught is the initial concentration. K is the rate constant. and T is the time. So now expression for rate we can write K times concentration of A at time T. So this is rate at any time T is equals to K times concentration of A at any time T is given by this formula that is A naught e to the power minus k into T. Now we have been given two rate when time is 10 minute rate is 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 is equals to k times A naught e to the power minus k and time is 10 minute Similarly, we can write another equation when time is 20 minute rate is 0 0.03. Now from these two equation we can solve for k. So let us divide these two equation. So we will have, now we can take log both side, so k is equals to 1 by 10 ln 4 by 3. 
and we can express ln into log by multiplying 2.303 So let us find this value. This is point two three zero three multiplied log four by three. So this value is point zero two eight seven seven. This is k and unit will be min at minus 1 because first order unit is 1 by time and time we are taking in minute so this is min at minus 1. we have to calculate half life and half life is ln2 or 0.693 by k so either we can use ln2 by k or 0.693 by k k is 0 0.02877 so let us calculate this value. So this is 24.08. So T half for this reaction is 24.1 minute approximately. So in this problem important point we have that is we have to express rate in terms of concentration at time t and concentration at time t is a naught e to the power minus k into t. So this is the rate at time t. This is the only important point we have in this problem.